Hey guys, this is Venetia. Thank you for joining my channel, Enlightening Your Life. Uh, I am coming to you all today for a daily reading for the entire uh, zodiac. So all 12 signs I'm going to do in one reading. And it's just going to be a one card pool, so that's why um, um, I have it here because it's a daily one. So I'm just going to do a one card pool for you guys for March 22nd. And of course, since it's Aries season, we're going to go ahead and start with Aries and bring in that big uh, ram energy. And um, again, the daily crystal is what I'll be using to give you guys your readings, okay? So, I hope you enjoy it. And here we go. Starting with you guys, the Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. I feel like, oh goodness, I felt like that wanted to, um, how about, I'm going to go with it. So for Aries, set strong boundaries, and I'll be reading out of the book as well, uh, Black Kyanite, okay, set strong boundaries, Aries, okay. Let me read off what that one is really quick. And then we will move on to the bulls, Taurus, okay? All right, so for you Aries, black kyanite, create strong boundaries. It's boundaries enables healthy relationship. Creating strong boundaries enables healthy relationships. However, sometimes that, in, that requires saying no when the people in your life ask things of you. It's important for your own self-care to separate your own needs from those of others as part of day-to-day -day routine. Instead of giving to others until your cup is empty, set limits to ensure you have enough love and energy left to nurture all your valued relationships in a healthy way over the long term. Resist any feelings of guilt. Stand strong in your power and own your boundaries. Okay, um, and your affirmations for this crystal, I care for myself and others by maintaining firm boundaries with the people in my life. Today, say no to a request or and own your choice without explanation. I don't think the Aries have a hard time with that, but obviously some, some Aries needs to hear that. So there you go, okay? Set those boundaries, okay? All right, we're moving on to Taurus. What do we have for ooh, a mess. what do we have for Taurus? All of our bulls out there. Big Taurus energy. I know about it. I know about it. I have a Taurus in my life. My children is a Taurus, so I know about it. Alright, so see what do we have for Taurus for today? March 22nd. Malachite. Time to it's time to transit. No, it's time to transform. I'm sorry. I hope you guys can see that. There we go. Okay, that's for you, Taurus. Malachite. That's how I feel like it's said. Um, and so let's see what the word is on that one for you Taurus get ready for a transformation you have the inner strength resolve and conviction to transform your life for the better you are capable of so much more than you know you've come a long way don't stop now resist anything or anyone that might dissuade you including any potential self doubt you have the power to steer your destiny. Keep moving toward the future you want for yourself. See your target and keep going until you reach it. Give yourself the tough love and unfiltered advice you need to achieve all that you are capable of doing. And the affirmation for you all, I am committed to transformation. Today, take one action, no matter how small, that's in service of the goals 
you have for yourself. Okay, Taurus? So that's for you all. You guys can transform. Everybody thinks y'all just sit in the house all day. We know how y'all do. We know, we know, Taurus. You can definitely transform. Don't let them keep you in that little box of staying at home. <laughs> all right, guys. Now let's move on to the gym. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I wish I would learn how to show these cards a little bit better. What am I doing today? It's just a mess. I think it's on on camera because any other time I shuffle them a little bit. We're better than this. Let me not, not, let me not act like it's <laughs> a super great shuffle. But anywho, so, okay, Gemini's. Uh, let's see what you guys have for to work on today. My Gemini's, all the Gemini's out there. What do you have? They give, us, they give you guys a hard rap to you, Gemini's. I understand. I understand. I understand. All right, Gems. Let's see what we got for you guys. Amethyst and trust your intuition. Okay, Gemini? Amethyst, trust your intuition. All right, and let's read what that holds for you for today. Gemini. All right. I love Amethyst, by the way. Intuition can speak louder than words. Ultimately, all the answers lie within you. Know that you can trust yourself Similar to a gut instinct, your intuition allows you to connect with your inner knowing. You understand yourself before, better than anyone else does. Intellect and logic are useful. But sometimes overthinking or overanalyzing can hold us back. Tap into your inner wisdom and acknowledge what your intuitive self is telling you. Don't let outside voices talk you out of doing what you know is best for you. Let your inner voice speak for itself. Your affirmation. I trust my intuition. Today, make a decision without using your conscious reasoning. It can be something as simple as ordering food. Simply allow your inner wisdom to decide. All right, gems. That's for you. And now we're going to move on to the next. Our lovely Cancer Babies. Cancer Babies. All right, one of my fellow water signs. We're going to move on to you all. Cancer Babies, let's move on to you all. And by the way, guys. Let me know what your sign is below. And let me know if it resonated with you, okay? So go ahead and put that down there. Let me know how you're feeling. If it resonates. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Chrysocola. Chrysocola. Okay, start fresh. Start fresh. That's what we have for you cancers, okay? And I could be saying I'm completely wrong. If I'm saying the crystal's wrong, go ahead and drop it down in the um, comment and give me the phonetic way to say these crystals, these different crystals, because I have not truly used every single one of these crystals. So if I'm saying it incorrectly, go ahead and give me the phonetic way to say them correctly. Okay? All right, so Cancers, here we go. It's time to start fresh. Close the door behind you so you can move forward and open a new one. Every day is a blank canvas. An opportunity to boldly go after the things in your life you want. Leave behind anything you don't. You do not need to settle for the status quo or accept what already is. You have the power to change your life and do things differently every day. It's time to live by an out with the old, in with the new, and beautifully mentality. Okay? Affirmation. I welcome the opportunities each new day brings. Today, tidy or, rede or redecorated space. Welcome new life by adding fresh flowers or pot of plants. It's that simple. All right? All right. So let's move on to... Leo. 
Leo's in the house. With all that name. With all that. Mm. That's what I like to say. But Leo's. A command, the commanding presence of Leo's. That's what that is. People say y'all like, like attention, but y'all have a commanding presence, which commands attention. So it is what it is, right, Leo? I know about it. I know about it. Let me know. Let me know what your sign is below. Let me know what your sign is below, okay? I feel you, Leo's. I feel you. All right. All right, Leo's. Aquamarine. Aquamarine Leos. All right. Go with the flow. Aquamarine. All right. And Aquamarine is actually my birthstone being a Pisces. So I know about, I know a thing or two about going with the flow, Leos. So let's get into it. Stay fluid. If one way of doing things isn't working, find another way. Remain open to seeing things from different advance, different vantage points and perspectives. If plans change or obstacles arise, chart a new course to get to the other side. You are like water. Unstoppable. Keep moving and you will get to where you want to go. Sometimes it just takes a bit of fluidity to get there. No matter how strong the current, remember to go within the flow and enjoy the ride. Go with the flow. Enjoy the ride. All right. Affirmation. I surrender to the ebbs and flows of life today. Release and release your expectations for how a situation is supposed to go. Stay fluid and go with the flow. I think that's good for you guys, for you Leos. I know you guys like to have control and take charge, so just go with the flow. Don't don't make it too, too, you know, complicated. Just ride along with it, okay? And uh, you'll get to where you want to go. All right. So next, we're on to Virgs. Virgos. Virgos. All right, Virgos. I know about you guys. I know you guys like to have everything together. All your A's, um, your I's dotted, and your T's crossed. Perfection is having everything together. I know, I know. I know a thing or two about a Virgo. It's all right, though. We all have different things. So, we're going to see what we got for the Virgos, okay? All right, Virgos. All right. All right, Citrine. Bring in the light. That's for you all. For you Virgos out there, Citrine, bring in the light. Bring it in. All right, let's see what we got going on under citrine and by the way if you need any of these crystals I will have them on my website okay citrine let the sunshine pour in some spiritual vitamin D will lift your spirits and your sights on life let happiness be a choice you make every day just like the sun bursts through the fog on a cloudy day, you have the ability to bring light in, even when you might be feeling a little blue. You are in charge of the weather within your inner environment. Affirmation. I'm sorry. Embrace what it feels like to feel good and make a conscious effort to stay in the light. Your affirmation. I let the light back in. Today, watch the sun rise or set. All right? And today um, is Monday. So, there's that. But Sunday was for the sun. So, I mean, you can still watch the sun rise. All right, Virgo. So, next, we are moving on into Libra World. Leave. Libra world, I have a Libra moon, so I'm. I, I I think I have a bit info on Libras, or at least I know a little bit more about how they feel. All right, so we're gonna go with you, Libras. Let's see what your daily inspiration is. Okay, 
Well, we're gonna go with that. It flipped over. Start fresh. The same one, Chryso Chryso Cola. Start fresh. I'm gonna read it again. That's for you Libras as well. Okay. Hope you guys can see that. All right. And Libra, so let's go back to that one. All right. And I have the Miracle Prayer playing in the background. Give everybody a little boost, a little rejuvenation. All right. Again, for so for Libras, it's time to start fresh. Close the door behind you so you can move forward and open a new one. Every day is a blank canvas, an opportunity to, to boldly go after the things in life you want and leave behind anything you don't. You do not need to settle for the status quo or accept whatever is. You have the power to change your life and do things differently every day. It's time to live by and out with the old, in with the new and beautiful mentality. And your affirmation again. I welcome the opportunity each new day brings. Today, tidy or redecorated space. Welcome new life by adding fresh flowers or potted plants. Flowers and plants are always a good thing. I, okay. I should like them. All right. So after leave, you got what? Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. I was a little too hard about that. Scorpio next. Definitely know about that Scorpio energy. I have had Scorpio energy in my life for over the last 18 years. I know about the Scorpio energy, so I know a thing or two about you, Scorpios. Um, you guys get a bad rap sometimes through intensity. Um, Y'all mean well. Y'all really do. So, all right, all my Scorpios out there, let's see what your daily crystal is. What do they have to say to you, Scorpios? For you all to focus on. All right. Okay. Sunstone. Take pleasure in the things you do. All right, Scorpios. Sunstone. Take pleasure in the things you do. All right. And the reading for Sunstone. Let's get into it. Don't just stop and smell the roses. Make yourself a bouquet. If you find yourself moving through your day on autopilot, force yourself to stop and take a moment to appreciate the beauty in your life. If you find you're always focused on what's next, allow yourself to appreciate the moment at hand. You can even put a reminder in your phone if needed. You only get one life. Allow yourself to enjoy it. Do something that gives you significant boost of energy and happiness. Something that fills your cup and feeds your soul. Take delight in everything you do because it's the it's those little things, pleasures, that make life truly worth living. Your affirmation. I have plenty of time. Today, savor a small moment that you usually take for granted, such as a hot cup of coffee. Or exchanging smiles with a stranger. <laughs> that's I think that's a good one for Scorpios because they don't usually like to make friends that often, you know. But I won't say that they um, can't um, have conversations with strangers. Now you might not become friends off the bat, Scorpios. I already know that, but I do know that you can uh, have a conversation with a stranger. So that's for you, Scorpios. All right, so uh, up next, we're going into Sag. That is serious. Let's get into it, Sag. Let's get into it, Sag. Entrepreneur spirit, spirits. <laughs> kind of a my way or the highway kind of thing sometimes. Let's see what we got for you, Sagittarius. Let me know. All right. All right, Sag. Iolite. 
shift your money mindset. Okay, you guys are always into some money, money adventures. That's not a hard thing for you guys. Okay, so it says shift your money mindset. Let's see what um, that one is about. Actually, all right. Money might make the world go round, but it shouldn't have you running in circles. It's important to view your cup as half full instead of half empty to maintain a healthy perspective. When you shift your attention from what you don't have to appreciating what you do, you attract more of what you desire into your life. Embrace a feeling of enoughness. And know that whether or not you have everything you want, you definitely have everything you need. Bring more awareness to your internal state and challenge yourself to express gratitude for where you are and what you have right now. Instead of chasing money and material items, chase happiness and satisfaction with your life as it is currently. You will soon see that your cup runneth over. One for you, Sagittarius. Y'all are on a money chase all the time. Very money-minded. So, I live, uh, affirmation for you all, I live in a state of abundance. Today, express appreciation for all that you have. It's real simple. It's real simple, Sag. All right. So, after Sag, we're going to move on into who, what, cap. Cap, cap. Cap, cap, cap. Perhaps are the other ones known for their straightforwardness, uh, business mindset, caps, have it together. They used to like to have their stuff together as well. All right, caps. So let's see what you guys need to focus on. Okay. Let's see what we got for you, Capricorns. All right. Message for the caps. All right. What we got, caps? This is like appetite. Appetite? I think so. Get out of your comfort zone. Let me know if that's correct. All right. Appetite. Get out of your comfort zone. All right. Let's see what we got for you guys. What's the meaning for this one? We need you guys to get out of that comfort zone. Trying to help everything in a row. Get out of it. All right. First through your bubble. There is a first time for everything and for everyone. Get outside of your comfort zone to discover what feeds your appetite for life. It's easy to become complacent, complacent, to play it safe, and to live in your self-created boundaries. Caps. Don't let your routine hold you back from challenging yourself. Embrace new and uncharted territory. It is in these exhilarating moments that you find inspiration and uncover what thrills you. Keep yourself on your toes and be excited for the day you have ahead. This is a space where you will learn the most, where you will grow and evolve into the best version of yourself. Your crystal affirmation. I am capable of new and surprising things. Today, try something different to get inspired about life. You might plan a trip, try a new recipe, or buy a book by an author you've never heard of. Just try something different, Caps. All right? All right, let's move on into that Aquarius energy. Let's move on into my booze Aquarius. Um, Aquarius the humanitarians of the zodiac sign, always bringing everyone together, um, very eccentric, and they don't care how you feel about it, and I'm not mad at them for it, because they're like, look, I'm going to be who I want to be, I love everybody as they are, so you'll love me as I am, and I'm not mad at y'all for it, my youngest is an Aquarius, so believe me, I know, but beautiful souls, beautiful souls, all right, so Aquarius, let's get into it. What you need to focus on for today. All right. There we go. We got you guys. Phantom Quartz. Ooh. Okay. Embrace change. Okay. Phantom Quartz. All right, Aquarius. 
Embrace change. I'm gonna get that too hard for you guys, but maybe somebody needs to hear that. An Aquarius out there needed to hear that. All right, so let's get into your Phantom Quartz reading and what you need to know about it. All right, Phantom Quartz. In a period of flux, find comfort in the uncomfortable. Change is happening all around you, so make the most of it. After all, the only thing that is constant in life is change. Embrace uncertainty and lean into the inevitable. These are these are opportunities that allow you to grow, evolve, and move forward. It's how you move through the stations of life that make or break your journey. Instead of, res instead of resisting change, allow it to propel you forward so that you can level up your life. Affirmation. I embrace change. Today, confidently address an area of your life that you have been avoiding and identify something you can do to change or accept it. It's that simple. Aquarius. All right, guys. And now we are on to the last sign, Pisces. And y'all run there and like, why is she so crunk about Pisces? It's so emotional. Okay, I'm a Pisces. Okay, so mm, take her or leave it. <laughs> no, but... Pisces, um, oh gosh, I have that placement in two of my big three, so I'm a Pisces through and through. Okay, stuck in my head, emotional, very compassionate though, very compassionate, and I love you guys, and I see everything from other perspectives, I can genuinely understand things from other perspectives, not just my own. I might want to stick with my own sometimes, but I, I can see and understand from other perspectives. So I, I feel uh, like that's a general thing with most of us Pisces. Okay? All right. I'm going to do this one more time. It's Pisces. All right. All right, Pisces. What do we have here for us? What do we need to work on? I'm talking to myself. Let me see. All right. Pi right. Okay. Let the money flow in. Okay. Pyrite. Bam. Get into it, Pisces. Let the money flow in with the pyrite. And I've been having this big, like, this big eight energy. Like, eights have been following me. Triple eights, double eights. I'm like, yes. Let the abundance come on in. Okay, universe. I'm, I'm ready for the, the big payout. The big payback is what they usually say. But I'm ready for my big payout. Sure. I put too much good karma up in the world. I'm ready for it. All right, so pyrite. A. This is for me, y'all. <laughs> A financial breakthrough is on its way. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me get myself together. Composure. You have the power to create the wealth you desire. Put in the time and energy needed to pursue your, pursue your financial goals. Hard work pays off. Be a money magnet and call prosperity into your life in all its forms. Money and fortune don't always appear in the way you, you would expect. So keep your eyes open for all the financial opportunities that present themselves to you. All, okay? You are on the right track. Keep working. Keep moving. Keep going. And you will reap the rewards. Okay, Pisces? All that. Affirmations for us, Pisces. Financial prosperity surrounds me. Today, keep working towards your goal, knowing your effort will pay off. All right? We're going to end on that note. That was a good note because I'm just like, if I just keep going, it's going to happen. And, it, and the cards don't lie. Okay? All right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this helped you today. Please let me know if it was on point, if it helped. Let me know your zodiac sign, and you can even let me know where you're watching from, okay? Please like, comment, and share it if you felt like this helped you out today. I will be back to do your reading, your daily reading for the next day. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me, Phoenicia, on my Enlightening Your Life channel.
Bye-bye.